food ethics are intensely personal, but it's absolutely false to say that the science is clear that we absolutely all have to give up seafood. It is all about how we can balance the needs of the ocean with sustainable seafood practices. My name is Dr. David Schiffman, and I am an interdisciplinary marine conservation biologist who lives and works in the Washington, D.C. area. I work broadly at the intersection of science, conservation, policy, and public understanding of science while trying to protect endangered species of marine life and promote sustainable fisheries. Human beings are better off with healthy shark populations than we are without them, and that's because of the vital ecosystem services that they provide. When we're talking about the ocean and our coasts, these are food chains that provide billions with a B of humans with food and tens of millions of humans with jobs. And when you want to have a healthy food chain, you need to make sure that the top of the food chain is healthy. When you lose the top of the food chain, the whole system can unravel in wildly unpredictable but often quite bad ways. We are better off with healthy shark populations than we are without them, even though there is a very, 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 very tiny risk that some humans will get hurt as a result of shark populations. Our ocean faces many threats. Many of these people have heard of climate change, ocean acidification, oil spills, plastic pollution. That's all real bad. But the number one threat by far to both sharks and to marine biodiversity as a whole, in terms of the number of individual animals killed and the number of different species affected, is unsustainable industrial scale fishing practices. It's us, we're doing it. And I'm not saying that, uh, that sustainable fishing is impossible. I'm not saying we all need to give up seafood, as some advocates have claimed. The science is clear that we absolutely can have our cake and eat it too here. We can absolutely have healthy ocean ecosystems as well as a seafood industry that provides food and jobs to humans. It's a tricky thing to balance the needs of ocean ecosystems and global food security and the needs of livelihoods in coastal communities. And the answer is science. The answer is we collect all the data we can and we figure out what's really going on and we use evidence and reality to make our decisions while considering the different value propositions involved here. So endangered species are particularly important and it should be weighted a little more heavily. And certain ecosystems are more valuable to tourism or more beloved and perhaps should be weighted a little more heavily. The way to balance these tricky situations is, is data and evidence and science. Uh, and it's not influenced by how loudly people scream at me on social media. Am I optimistic for the near-term future? Not at the moment. Uh, things, are, things are not great right now for the environmental movement and for science in the Washington, D.C. area and in its role in national policy and politics. But am I optimistic for the medium-term and long-term future? Absolutely, yes. More people care about this stuff than ever before. More people want to do the right thing than ever before. More information is available that can help wiser leaders to do the right thing than ever before.